the efficient retail cart assembly. The parts you will use include accessory kit bag, separators, roll base, side panels and shelves. The only tool you will need for assembly is a rubber mallet. Start with the side panels, making sure to lock the wheels on the base. Position and insert the first side panel vertically into the base so that the cautionary label is facing out towards you. The wing nut is attached at the bottom of the panel. Hand tighten it until secure. Repeat this process with the other side panel, again making sure that the label faces outward toward you. Next, take a stabilizer bar and position it at the bottom of the cart in the slots of the side panel. Using the rubber mallet, hammer the stabilizer bar into place. The stabilizer will help keep the side panels straight and even. Repeat this process with a second stabilizer bar on the other side. Make sure stabilizer bars are seated tightly in the slots. You'll know the bars are installed correctly when you hear a snap or clicking sound. Now install one of the stationary shelves with the feet. Simply slide it onto the very bottom level of the cart. The feet on the stationary shelf should sit outside of the rail lip. Place the second stationary shelf on the next level up. Next, install the first sliding shelf. The sliding shelves can only be installed in the three middle sections of the side rails, which contain the shelf knobs. You may install the two sliding shelves on any of these three sections. Typically, we recommend leaving the middle rail empty, but you may adjust the shelving based on your product needs. Insert shelf by angling one side of the shelf downward and placing the slide bar of the shelf under the knobs of the side panel. Then lower the opposite side and rest it on the top edge of the side panel. With your palms up, place your fingers under the side panel side bar and then gently push your thumbs against the shelf edge while pulling on the side rails. The shelf will drop into place. Make sure the sliding bar is resting under the knobs of the side panel on both sides. Once the shelf is in the correct position, it should slide back and forth easily. Now install the second sliding shelf the same way you did the first one, making sure that the slide bar is under the knobs and that both sides are completely level on the side rails. Install the final two stabilizer bars in the top slot of the side rails using your rubber mallet to gently pound them into place. Make sure that the stabilizer bars are seated tightly in the slots. Install the final stationary shelf on the top section of the side rails. Next, you will install dividers on each shelf. You will start out with two dividers on each side of every shelf. You will add more dividers as you put products on your cart. Each divider has a hook on one end and a U-shaped snap on the other. First, stand in front of the cart. There are labels on the base which identify the front edge. Take one of the tall dividers and hold the end with the U-shaped snap towards you so that it is at the front of the cart. The hook end should be at the back of the cart. Place the hook of the divider on the back edge of the shelf and then lower the divider so that the U-connector can snap onto the crossbar. Make sure the divider is straight. Repeat this process on the left side of the shelf, making sure the divider is located all the way to the left. Repeat this process until all shelves have two dividers, one on each side. The last step for assembly will be adding the handles on front and back of the cart. Orient the cart so that the front is facing you, just as you did when you installed the dividers. You will see there are loops on the upper part of each side panel. Place the handle ends into the front loops of the cart. Insert both ends of the handle into the loops at the same time. Repeat this step for the handle in the back of the cart. The only parts left are the short dividers and separators. These will be installed when you load your cart.